Welcome to our video, how to find the present value. In this video, we're going to learn how to do it manually and with the calculator. Let's start. First of all, let's learn the formula to find the present value. Here, we see that FB means future value, I is the interest rate, and T is the time. Let's go ahead and do some examples. Before that, we need to understand the compound period. When they tell you that it's annually, you're going to make M equals 1. Semi-annually, M equals 2. Monthly, M equals 12. Quarterly, 4. Weekly, 52. And daily, 360. Let's start. Let's say that we have a question like this. Find the present value of $1,000 in 4 years with a rate of 12% compound annually. Well, here I'm just going to go ahead and substitute. Future value, 1,000. Interest, 12 time equals to four years, and I just apply it. I will get present value 635 with 52 cents. Now, it's very important that if you do this in the calculator, you put one plus point 12 first, then do the elevation to the fourth, and then go ahead and do 1,000 divided by the answer, because a lot of students make mistakes over those calculations. However, if you have a calculator that is a financial calculator, you just put n equals four, I equals 12, then of, obviously you don't have the present value, payment equals 0, and the future value equals to 1,000. You should get the answer, 635 with 52. By the way, your answer in the calculator will appear negative, that is okay. However, in real life, we're going to say positive 635. So let's do another problem. Find the present value of $1,000 in four years, but now we're compounding semi-annually. Well, we're going to use the same formula. However, now we're going to have uh, the compound every six months. So future value of 1000 the interest rate needs to be divided 12 by 2, and the time has to be multiplied by 2. Remember, when you do compound, you divide the interest rate by the value of M, and you immediately multiply the time by that. So now, my final answer is going to be 627.41. With a calculator, N equals 8. Remember, that comes from 4 times 2. The rate is going to be 6. That comes from 12 divided by 2. Payment 0. Future value 1,000. And finally, you get your present value. Let's do another problem. The same problem, but now it's compound quarterly. How do I do it? Remember, now M is equal to 4. The interest must be divided by 4. At the same time, the time needs to be multiplied by 4. Now I have 16 periods. Finally, I just apply my formula, and I get PV 623.17. If I'm doing it in the calculator, N equals 16, that comes from 4 times 4, I equals 3, which that comes from 12 divided by 4. Same information, and you get your present value. Now let's do it monthly. The same problem, but now my M is going to be equal to 12. Remember, I need to divide my rate by 12. My time, I need to multiply by 12. And finally, I get my answer. As you can see here, the more I compound, the lower my present value. Let's start with the calculator. Remember, 4 needs to be multiplied by 12. That's where you get 48. The interest, actually here the interest should be, um, oh no, we're correct. <laughs> 12 divided by 12, which is 1. And the future value is 1,000. I was just testing you to see if you're paying attention. Uh, the present value is going to be 620.26. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, thanks so much for learning.